Hello, I'm Richard Duncan. Thank you for your interest in MacroWatch. Here let me tell you what you can expect if you subscribe. I believe that our economic system changed in a fundamental way in 1968 when the United States stopped backing dollars with gold. Up until then, economic growth had been driven by investment and saving. Well, it doesn't work like that anymore. Today, credit growth drives economic growth. Liquidity determines the direction of asset prices, and the government attempts to control both credit growth and liquidity to ensure that the economy continues to expand. So in MacroWatch, I analyze trends in credit growth, liquidity, and government policy in order to anticipate their impact on economic growth and asset prices. MacroWatch is published quarterly. In the most recent issue for the second quarter 2014, there are seven videos. Let me tell you what they cover. The first video is a warning to investors that the stock market could be particularly tricky during the rest of this year. That's because liquidity will continue to be excessive during the second quarter, but in the third quarter it's going to dry up. So I'll discuss what this could mean for the markets, how the Fed's likely to respond, and where that could leave us by year end. The second video is the Fed and its challenges. In the short term, I believe the Fed's challenge is to prevent an asset price bubble between now and the middle of the year. But the medium term challenge is just the opposite, how to prevent a stock market crash and a recession in the second half of the year as liquidity dries up due to the tapering of quantitative easing. And the long term challenge for the Fed will be to find a way to continue driving economic growth through fiat money creation, even though asset prices are already dangerously inflated. The third video is the Austrian theory of the business cycle. Austrian economists believe that credit fuels the economic boom, and that every boom ends in a depression when the credit ceases to expand. Our credit bubble has grown to be $59 trillion in size over the last 50 years. Here I discuss what the consequences would be if this bubble pops now, and I consider if a depression really is inevitable. Four, what drives currencies? Here I discuss trade imbalances, interest rate differentials, and fiat money creation. We also look at what the central banks are doing now and what they're likely to do in the future, and what these things suggest about where the major currencies may move from here. Five, the crisis in China's economic growth model. Export-led growth is coming to an end. Investment-driven growth is unsustainable, and credit-fueled growth is destabilizing. Therefore, a very sharp slowdown in growth in China is inevitable. This video explores the causes of this crisis and considers what it will mean for the rest of the world. Six is a credit growth update. Here I review the latest data from the Fed's flow of funds. We see that credit growth is not accelerating, and I explain why credit growth will remain too weak to drive the economy during the next two years. That means we'll either have more quantitative easing next year, or we'll have a recession. And finally, an economic update. Here the story is very simple. U.S. credit growth is weak, so the U.S. economy remains weak. Consequently, U.S. imports have stopped growing, and therefore the global economy is weak. We'll look at some recent economic data and see why this weakness is likely to continue. Okay, in addition to four issues of MacroWatch each year, 
Subscribers will also have access to all earlier issues of MacroWatch, plus my two video courses, Capitalism in Crisis and How the Economy Really Works. So far, there are nine hours of video available for immediate watching. So as I said at the beginning, fiat money has changed the way the world works. MacroWatch explains those changes by analyzing trends in credit growth, liquidity, and government policy. Its purpose is to help you anticipate what will happen next in this new age of fiat money. To subscribe to MacroWatch, please visit my website, richardduncaneconomics.com. Thank you.